Hey Pastry Puffs, welcome back to Strudel Reviews, it's your girl Strudel, and today we are continue- we are on the final episode of Strudel's throwback reviews for the time being, unless that there are any changes in like the next week or so. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, today we are going to be reviewing- Last but not certainly least, the wi the witty toys, Winx Blue Mix Fairy Techna. As she was the last Winx member I needed to review, as I did Musa's review yesterday, and then I did Aisha's review like what maybe a couple of days before that, and then. Bloom, Stella, and Flora's reviews were, like, a few weeks ago. So, yeah. Let's get into, let's get into it. To start off, you can tell that Tecna has, like, a thin, like, has a thin, just a thin eyebrow that is a light brown color, which is really pretty. She has, like, the same really, like, she has a nude eyeshadow, actually. With, like, heavy glitter on one eye and then, like, practically non-existent glitter on the other. And then she has what I think is teal eyes. And you can tell she doesn't have the same, like, dimension in her, um, in her face, like, Musa like Musa and the others, is because my other Winx dolls, except for Tecna and then Roxy, who's going to be sometime in the future, all have the season 8 witty face, it, like have the season 8 witty screenings, while my Tecna has the new witty screening, and my Roxy has the old witty screening, but, and then, like, as we've gone over her eye, like, her eyeshadow and her eye color, she's got this really pretty, like, I want to say kind of bubblegum colored lips. Very, very cute. And then you can tell she's got this one piece dress that is, like, this really looks, which looks to be, like, a light blue color. Most likely a light blue color, which is cute. And you can tell, like, it is a literal one-sleeve silhouette with this layer of light blue organza that is on over top to look like a giant ruffle in subsequent sleeve on this arm. While there is also a layer of organza underneath to make it look like a tutu and it's all the same color and this is like a soft I want to say kind of like a satin -y material and you can tell that it's like ribbed to give it texture which is really really cute and then here on the back you can tell she's got this like lime green organza that looks like the cape from the Blue Mix dolls, like from the Blue Mix transformation in the show. And then like we come to her legs, you can tell she's got lavender colored tights that go over her feet. And then she's got dark green motherboard designs covered in glitter. All on her tights, which is really cool. And then you can tell on this side it goes down and covers over her foot. And then on the other side it goes on the bottom of her foot. And for whatever reason, why my Tecna is the my only Winx doll that doesn't have shoes, is just that the Blue Mix dolls didn't come with shoes. <laughs> it's like one of it was like kind of like an old well, it was kind of like that weird in between stage that Witty was doing because I'm like very sure 
when season five first came out, like the new witty harmonic dolls, I think had ribbons around their feet instead of like actual shoes. And then this original Cyrenix release didn't come with shoes. So I'm guessing it was a part of that like strange little era. So I'm not a hundred percent certain. I'm just going off of Google images that I have seen. Because that was the only way I could, like, even remotely think about having wing stalls. <laughs> Alright, and let's go into her wings. You can tell she's got, like, kind of, like, a cloudy, like, kind of, like, um, I would say translucent. Because you can still kind of see into it, but you can't see through it. And you can tell her wings have, like, a whole digital design and then, like, the smaller cubes are like a switch between like darker green and lighter lighter green as the background and then like the bigger cubes are this either dark blue or light purple um glitter which is also the same outline as the wings the same outline for the wings and then you can tell that the blue mix dolls all of them come with these light blue and pink charms that are attached to the wings, which I thought was really cool. Because, like, you didn't really see that on any other wing stalls except for the blue mix. And then you look at the back and you can tell it's a new witty doll because of the way the mechanism is. It is very similar to the Jack's Pacific wing stalls that were out in America from, like, I want to say 2011, no, not 2011, uh, I want to say 2012 to 2014, as they had the, because Jack Pacific here in America had launched their Winx doll line, where the Mattel Winx that was here in America from like 2004 to 2009, Mattel had left off with the Enchantix. Had left off with Enchantix, so Jax Pacific had picked up with Believix. And their final fairy form was the, um, was actually the Bloomix. But they were supposed to release the Mythix and Colourpop line, but for whatever reason, Nickelodeon decided to both do Jax Pacific dirty by not telling them, hey, we're no longer... Like, hey, we're no longer, like, promoting, we're no longer doing Winx Club, so y'all are out of luck. And then they were telling Rainbow, like, they wanted to keep aging down the show's demographic from what the show was originally supposed to grow up with its audience that was, like, really little kids back in 2004. Who are all, like, I can guarantee you, like, 90% of us are all grown up now, so <laughs> we kind of tend to not really talk about anything after, most of us tend to not talk about anything after season 5, but a lot of us do make exception for season 6 because of how immaculate the blue mix designs were. Mwah, chef's kiss. But, uh, as I was saying... Tecna has the new witty face, which is supposed to emulate the Jack Pacific face. I don't have my Roxy on hand to show the differences between old witty and new witty, but hopefully once Roxy comes in the mail, we will be doing that. And another thing about the Blue Mix dolls is that they decided to reissue the Harmonix brushes like, the Harmonix mold for the brushes that they also used for Sirenix, but instead of making them look like the Sirenix... <laughs> Drop the comb. But instead of making them look like the Sirenix boxes, like the Harmonix ones did, they had just issued them in, like, the Winx's signature color. If you remember Bloom, Stella, and Flora's reviews, you know, Bloom had, like, the lighter pink shade... Stella had, like, a really pale purple that was almost lavender shade. And then Flora had, like, the really bright pink shade. And then Tecna has this 
This is Tecna's Sirenix brush. And then I have Musa's Sirenix brush because, again, I did very briefly have Blue Mix Musa. But I had opted to choose, I had chosen to keep, um, I had opted to keep Cosmix Musa over Blue Mix Musa because y'all know Musa and Tecna had showed up on my doorstep the same day. So I wanted them both together. So yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, before I forget. She has articulation, like, she can move her head side to side. She's got wire in her elbows, so she can pose them. And then she's got, like, articulated knees, very similar to the Jax Pacific dolls. And then they can also move at the shoulders and the hips. All right. Let me bring out the bloom. I'm going to put Stella, like, right there. I'm going to put Musa, like, right next to Tecna because I love, I have Musa and Tecna displayed together on the shelf. And then I'm going to put Flora, like, right beside Musa, like, right there, and then for Aisha, I'm just gonna put her, like, <laughs> sitting like that, and then just to show you guys, like, all of the winks together, this is, like, basically my whole Winx. As you can tell, Bloom, Stella, Musa, Flora, and Aisha are all Season 8 witty. And then Tecna is new witty. And then when Roxy shows up, she's old witty. At first, I didn't think, like, Tecna would have fit in with the girls. But, like, looking at them, she doesn't stand out that much. And it's not even that big bad. So I don't know what I was telling myself. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you could tell. And I just noticed all of the fairy transformations are pretty much in chronological order, because I have three of the Sirenix transformations, which was season five. One of the Bloomix transformations, which is season six. And then two of the Cosmics transformations, which is season, season eight. <laughs> and then, um, and then I have Roxy, who is Believix. So I have, like, the season four, the season five, the season six, and the season eight transformations. <laughs> and, like, before anyone asks, where's Butterflix? I pretend that Butterflix doesn't exist because that god-awful dance meme. The only good thing that came out of Season 7 is that they tried to rectify what they did to Roxy. That was the only good thing about Season 7. But even then, they didn't even make any new dolls for Roxy. Which, again, that is a problem within itself. But, yeah, these are my winks. Very happy to have them all. And meanwhile, while they're all here, let me tell you how I got them. Bloom and Stella right here. I was very lucky and I was able to find... They were, like, literally in my local Ollie's because these two were literally there. Like, I literally went there the day my local Ollie's had gotten their truck in. And they had these two sitting on the shelves. So I pretty much snatched them up and took them home. I looked everywhere for Flora, but my area never got Flora. So I wound up finding her on a social, a certain social media marketplace. 
And then that very same day led me to this Musa, who then led me to this Tekna, uh, not Tekna, this Aisha. And then somewhere in between, I was led to the Cosmics version of Tekna, but that one got away from me. So, like, the day before my next check came in and I was get I was checking if Misa and Aisha were still in my cart, I was, like, just typed in Winx Club just to, like, see if I could try my luck. And then, boop, she popped up. And then I was able to snatch her up and I was very happy I did. And then, like, last Saturday... I was, like, I had literally just posted, like, a couple of things that I no longer wanted in my collection, and I wound up selling them on eBay. <sighs> Shortly after I listed it, something was telling me to type in, um, Winx Roxy, and then, poof, the Roxy that I bought had showed up, like, in the feed. And it was out of, it was out of the country, it was in another country, so I texted the seller, like, do you ship to the States? And then the seller was like, yeah. Wound up cutting me a good deal for her, so I bought her, very happy I did. So I think I'm gonna wrap up the Winx reviews here for now. When Roxy comes, expect the review the immediately as soon as I take her out of the box because, like, I will be so happy to have her. And expect these lovely ladies to come back as they are going to be all over my social media because I will never shut up about them. I spent years looking for them. And with that, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!